Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have this system of equations a square minus b square equals to 9 and a times b equals to 3. And now we are going to find the value of a plus b. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation one and here I have copied down this equation one let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b square we are going to use this identity to expand this binomial so let's go ahead and take care of it. We can write this one as a square and then whole power 2 and then likewise b square and then whole power 2 and then minus 2 time a square time b square and on the right hand side 9 square is same as 81. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So this our equation is going to become a power 2 and then power 2. These two nested exponents, we're going to multiply them out. So this is going to become a power 4 plus b power 4 and then minus 2 times a square. b square could be written as a b whole power 2 equals to 81 and now we know that a times b is 3 so i'm going to replace this a times b by 3 and here in the next step i replace this a times b by simply 3 and the rest is same and now let's focus on this part 2 times 3 power 2 and here i have copied it down and we are going to take care of the exponent first so 2 times 3 squared is going to become 9. 2 times 9 is 18. So therefore, I am going to replace this whole thing by 18. So therefore, our equation is simply is going to become a power 4 plus b power 4 minus 18 equals to 81. And now let's go ahead and add 18 on both sides. This is gone. So we simply ended up with a power 4 plus b power 4 equals to 99. Call this as an equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's recall this uh, identity x square plus y square could be written as x plus y whole square minus 2 times xy. If I let uh, x equal to a square and let y equal to b square then this identity is going to simply become a square and then a whole square plus b square whole square equal to a square plus b square and then a whole square minus 2 times a square times b square and now let's go ahead and apply the rules of exponent so on this side a square and power 2 is going to become a power 4 likewise plus b power 4 equals to i'm going to leave this one as it is a square plus b square whole square minus 2 times a square b square could be written as a b then whole square and now we know that this uh, a power 4 plus b power 4 equals to 99 from this equation 2 so i'm going to replace this one by 99 and likewise this a times b i'm going to replace it uh, by 3 so we can write this one as 99 equal to a square plus uh, b square whole square minus 2 times 3 whole square and now let's focus on this part i have replaced it over here and this could be simplified to 18 so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 18 and here in this next step i have replaced this part by 18 and the rest is same 
Now let's go ahead and add 18 on both sides. This one is gone. So we ended up on the left hand side. That is going to give us 117 equal to a square plus b square whole square. Or we can write this equation the other way around. Now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides of this equation. This square and square root is gone. So we ended up with simply a square plus b square equals to positive or negative. And the square root of 117 could be simplified as 3 times square root of 13 as you can see over here. So this could be written as positive or negative 3 times square root of 13. Let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's recall this famous identity a plus b square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And here in this next step I have rearranged these a square and b square over here. And now we can see that uh, a square plus b square is positive or negative 3 times square root of 13 from this equation 3 and our a times b is 3 so I'm going to replace this one by 3 and here in this next step I have replaced this a square plus b square by this positive or negative 3 times square root of 13 and here I have replaced this a b by 3 so our this equation is simply is going to become a plus b whole square let me go ahead and take care of this one first 2 times 3 is 6 and then I'm going to write down positive or negative 3 times square root of 13. We can write this one as a plus b whole square equal to 6 plus 3 times square root of 13 and the other value is going to be a plus b whole square square equal to 6 minus 3 times square root of 13 and here we can see that we have a positive sign and negative sign as well. Now we can see that this value is greater than 0 and if we look at this value this is less than 0 but then we know that this a plus b whole square is always greater than or equal to 0 and here we have this less than 0 so therefore this is a false statement therefore we are going to reject this scenario and we are going to accept this one and now let's go ahead and take the square root on both side on this one and on this side as well and here this square and square root they undo each other so we simply got uh, a plus b turns out to be positive or negative square root of 6 plus 3 times square root of 13 and that is the value that we were looking for. So thus our a plus b value turns out to be a positive or negative square root of 6 plus 3 times square root of 13 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.